Welcome back to Trading with CJ. Today I have a very, very quick video on ABML, American Battery Metals. We've covered this one for so long now on my channel, pretty much since about January time, okay? This is a long-term hold. We've said this from the get-go. A long-term hold, they are trying to change the way, okay, the EV recycling, lithium-ion battery recycling, changing the EV industry right here, okay? It's doing big big things however it's going to take time they have a few different catalysts which we have covered okay the main one of course being the plant that they are building in nevada however i wanted to draw your attention to this okay because we recently had uh, a bit more of a short report again okay abml just can't catch a break i had a short report recently about a couple months ago or so and then it, it got some lawyers out okay to battle against this happening again however seeking alpha have recently put out this report and actually featuring it a little bit and my name is featured in this trading with cj however if you appreciate all these updates please go ahead and smash a like and subscribe to my channel so let's have a look at abml this is one that i'm invested in and buying as well okay maybe not you know uh, massively buying away it is speculative it is speculative for sure because you know the plant is not 100 although we did have some big recent news on this one about the nasdaq uplisting which we hope to hear from very very soon which is another catalyst for this one okay in the short term anyway but of course in the long term it gives us that exposure to more investors but we can see this here revisit in american battery metals the latest developments do little to dent the bear case this is of course a bear report as you can see from the get-go it's raised 15 million through a share offering we know share offerings never share issues never really you know are a great thing for the company in the short term people don't like that so that you know we do tend to see a lot of red following that it mentions about the application listing for the nasdaq which i just touched on and in previous videos I don't think these developments are significant enough and I continue to think that this one is a sell. Additionally, I don't see how ABML uh, can fund its CAPEX over the next few years. It's going to need to raise again. It's going to need to do a lot of funding. However, this is in an industry, okay, right now, which is going to be growing and they hope to have the plant built by the end of this year. I go on to say about they're not impressed by the Q1 financials. I mean, if anybody was expecting good financials from ABML right now, bearing in mind, the plant isn't even built. The production really hasn't even started rolling out or anything like this. Then I don't know what your company you're investing in. You should know that when you're buying at ABML, this is speculative. We have to hold this one. This is a hold. If you're trying to get quick gains, you are punting, okay, that the price is going to run up on something like the NASDAQ. It could be a good trade, potentially, but for me, long-term hold. Major development and red flags. It talks about the price dropping over the last couple of months. Well, that's pretty obvious. The whole penny stock market has been dropping. You'll struggle to find a penny stock that is not down on the last couple of months unless it has had some massive, massive news which has sent this one skyrocketing. And it says there's no major development on April 20th or the 21st. I'm not sure what the catalyst was. And they say it's uh, regarded probably the NASDAQ. Well, of course, if somebody announced a list on the NASDAQ, we are going to see a run up. You can't help that. That is what the market will do. So to be brief, I have read through the support. You know, each every person is entitled to their opinion. But this is a speculative article, okay? Speculative company as well. If you're investing in this, you should know that by now. Talk about the margins being very high. The pilot plant is expected to generate annual revenues of 160 million with an EBITDA margin of 80%. For comparisons, LI Cycles forecast 2024 is below 50%. Now, yeah, but obviously over time, we hope to get these margins down. It's very, very new. Nobody else is really doing this right now on the market. There's a couple of competitors. As you can see, LI Cycle is the largest recycled lithium iron batteries in North America. However, they don't have a massive amount of competition right now, so they, of course, are getting a lot more of that driving to them right now. This one is being built in Nevada. Doorstep, on the doorstep from Tesla as well. This is, could potentially be another big partnership down the line. We're changing to ABTC as well, just in case you forgot about that. ABML will become an ABTC. I do agree with this part about the raising of the funding. Okay, regarding the funding issues, I don't see how American Battery can fund its CapEx over the, the next few years. The company's pilot plant will cost $35 million while the commercial plants cost around 100 million. American Battery also aims to have a working capital of 15 million. It will have to do another raise in which we can only imagine is gonna happen. They do have a 6.9 million of cash on hand and with that 15 million, they have recently raised, okay? And it should be built and running in less than a year. And that's the aim. We're hoping to have this plant built by the end of 20, of this year, 2021. We hope to get some news on that. We did recently have some news on, the, on some licenses, etc., and we just want a bit more coming forward. Hopefully we'll get that in the next month or so. They also talk about the valuation. They say it's significantly overvalued. I do tend to agree with that. Okay, you could argue it's overvalued at these prices if you were buying it now uh, to just sell maybe within a year or two. But I personally am buying this one to hold for the longer term. So for me, the valuation, you know, this doesn't really matter too much right now. The prices are actually at a really good valuation compared to where they was just a few couple months ago. And we saw it run up to its all-time highs in about January, February time compared to where it is now. I personally think this is a good time to get in if you believe in the sector and this company 
going forward. And it gives us a little shout out here, okay? The company seems to be popular among retail investors and traders on several online platforms, YouTube, etc. It says it's covered by several channel channels, okay? And it's got my name on there, trading with CJ. The company isn't promoting the business itself, but this is being done by a significant number of retail investors and traders. I do just want to say that none of my, none of my videos on ABML have been paid or sponsored in any way, shape or form. I merely have a small investment in this company, a speculative one at that. And yeah, just providing you guys the updates. So I did want to touch on this uh, brief short report, okay? So nothing that we haven't really heard before. We've heard all this about the funding and, you know, the fact they're not going to have the plant yet and it's overvalued. We've heard all this before. I would like to hear ABML actually reply to this because they do tend to reply to these articles. Last time they got some lawyers involved, etc. And it was very, very good as an investor. So yeah, remember guys, we have the application to the NASDAQ. We hope we're going to hear from that in the coming weeks, etc. Which is all looking very, very good coming forward. And this is actually a tweet from ABTC. Um, what ABTC expert Katie Barker wants people to know about us. The entire team is committed to working hard to get our pilot plant up and running as soon as possible, but each step takes time, okay? Patience is key. Hopefully, patience will pay off in ABML. Just to quickly round off, let's have a quick look at the share price. We can see at the time recording, we're currently trading at about just over $2.20 right now. And like I said, you know, considerably down from those prices of about $4 in early February. We're actually down about 43% right now. So you could argue it's overvalued. It has a market cap of over 1.2 billion. However, you can only imagine what it was a few months ago. Will we be back at those levels? I'm not too sure. With the NASDAQ listing, if that happens and the name changed to ABTC, we could see this one run up. Maybe a slight pullback afterwards, but I'm not sure we get back to those lows of what we did around about mid-April time when we almost went actually below $1. We almost got to below $1. So yeah, let's see what happens about this one. Let's see if ABTC reply to this as well. Okay, we'd like to see their response to some of these uh, things. But like I say, it's nothing we haven't heard before. With that being said, please remember I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research before investing. Let me know your thoughts on ABML. How long are you looking to hold this one? Are you involved in this company? Are you looking to potentially buy in? Because right Right now, do you think this is a good time to buy at, at these current prices? If you appreciate all these videos, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.